Hello folks, welcome back to the show here on Flick Direct, where I give you guys the latest that happened in movie news throughout the week, and then I give you guys my personal take on the matter at hand. I'm your host, Austin the Puntman, for today's first news story, we're going to be talking about the Oscar nominations. Now, if you guys don't watch the Oscars, to put it simply, it's essentially the Super Bowl, but for movies. But for the first time in Best Picture history, a superhero film was nominated, and that film was Black Panther, and I couldn't be happier because... I loved Black Panther to death. It's in my top five MCU films. Actually, it might be my top three if I'm being honest. I mean, what Black Panther did for the superhero genre, not just culturally, but what Black Panther did for the MCU specifically and what it did for superhero films, I feel like that Black Panther was made at just the right time. And I feel like it's not only one of the best MCU films, but one of the best superhero films in general. And I think that Ryan Coogler did a heck of a job. And I, I mean, to be fair, this should have happened a while ago with The Dark Knight being nominated for Best Picture or even with Logan, but hey, better late than never. Couldn't be happier for Black Panther because I absolutely loved the film. It was in my top 10 favorite films of 2018, and I'm really curious to see how Ryan Coogler will take on a Black Panther 2. But other than that, congratulations to everyone who worked on Black Panther. You guys did an amazing job. Now, as you guys can see, your work paid off. Congratulations, and I hope to see you guys with the Oscar in your hand coming this February. Going into our second news story, it seems, and I'm really happy about this because I love the first film, well, the prequel film, I should say, this franchise, but it has been announced that Bumblebee has a sequel in development. Now, when it comes to the Transformers film franchise, the only one I like besides Bumblebee is the first one because the first one I actually thought was pretty decent, actually kind of good, but from two onwards... I don't want to talk about. I mean, really, I feel like as if the acting only got worse, the visual effects getting worse, and the action scenes, well, to be fair, Dark of the Moon had some pretty awesome action scenes, so I'll give it that, but really, everything else, including into what Michael Bay made with those Transformers movies, I mean, the dude knows how to make good stuff from time to time, but the Transformers films, that's where I can't say anything. But I loved, I mean, I loved Bumblebee. It was, for me, the first great Transformers film, and also showed not only critically, but box office wise, because it made just over 438 million, which, thank you for supporting good film, guys. And as a result, Bumblebee 2 is in development. The only thing I really want, get Travis Knight back to direct. Travis Knight, I feel like, has the chance to at least maybe be the, what's the term for, not showrunner, but um, the creative, I guess the creative director. Well, that's more of a game studio, but there's a term for it. Travis Knight has a chance to just oversee everything that goes along with this new franchise heading in its way. And I'm really happy that Bumblebee is getting a sequel. This is the one Transformers film that I'm just like, thank you that I did well for a sequel. And I'm really excited to see where this one goes. And I couldn't be happier that a good film is getting a sequel. Thank you, Hollywood. Thank you. And for our final news story of the day, I cannot believe I'm about to say this for a franchise that I love, but for the very first time, I just think, oh God. So when it comes to the Harry Potter franchise, I love this franchise. I love almost all the Harry Potter films. I mean, Aura of the Phoenix to me is the weakest Harry Potter film, but over time, I've grown to appreciate it more. However, when it comes to Fantastic Beasts, that's a different story. I mean, I like the first movie, Fantastic Beasts, Crimes of Grindelwald. I just, I came this close to hating that movie. But despite the reviews, the film was, I believe, a box office success, and not just that. I mean, I think box office success or not, there were about five films that were that were being planned to made. Two of them made. The third one right now is a pre-production. I believe it starts production 20 later this year. And I just, I don't, I really don't know what to say about this one. Don't get me wrong, guys. I grew up with the Harry Potter franchise. I love the films, love the books. And I didn't mind the first Fantastic... In fact, I quite liked the first Fantastic Beast, but with the second one, I just don't know what happened. I feel like that they were just going all off rails for that one just to try something different. The ending of Fantastic Beast, The Crimes of Grindelwald does give me intrigued for a third one, but at the same time, given to what film I saw with Crimes of Grindelwald, I... I hope they can improve upon themselves, but again, we will see how the later Fantastic Beast films come out. I do really hope that Fantastic Beast 3 is better than the second one. 
I still cannot believe how much of a bloated mess that the second one was. Alrighty guys, and that's gonna do it for movie news this week. Please comment down and let me know below. How do you guys feel about Black Panther being the first superhero film to be a Best Picture nominee? Does this make you guys excited? Or do you guys think that a movie before it should have been nominated first? Also, how do you guys feel about Bumblebee getting a sequel? Did you guys love the original film Bumblebee? Or do you wish that the Michael Bay Transformers films would still keep going on? And finally, how do you guys feel about Fantastic Beasts 3 starting production this fall? Were you guys a were you guys big fans of Fantastic Beasts 2? Or did you guys not like the second one like myself? Let me know below. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoyed today's show. If so, please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Also, do not forget to click that bell to get any notifications for when a new video comes live. And if you guys want to save our previous two shows, please click either right there or there. And of course, until next week's show, we'll see you guys next week. Have a great week, guys.